Hey, what's up, Rise of Kingdoms? It's Bye Bye here. Uh, welcome back to another Commander tier list video. So the last two time I talk about two cavalry commander already, which is John, John Prime and Nevsky. So today I want to talk about uh, an infantry commander. Okay, so I pick Gwen. Um, so Gwen is probably um, one of the one of our very very popular infantry commanders. A lot of people have him. So, but he's been out for some time now. So today we'll see if he's still good and how good he is compared to the two cavalry commanders that uh, come out recently. Okay. So let me bring the list here. Okay. And we'll go, once again, we'll go into detail of um, what, what he is. So we'll be rating him based on a few criteria open field 1v1 cd hopping rally garrison arc of osiris sunset cannon and at the end we'll give him an overall score so in terms of open field i think uh, Gwen, uh his first active skill deal 2000 aoe skill damage uh but he has to be primary and so far i don't think we have any issue with like using Gwen as primary a lot of people a lot of people love using him as primary he has good uh, talent tree uh, he has infantry talent and he has skill talent okay so very very good primary commanders uh there are really no reason for like uh, using him as secondary to be honest so 2000 AOE skill damage which is very good uh he also have a um he, he also has the ability to silence uh up to three targets for three seconds right so 2000 AOE skill damage can hit up to three targets and silence the target for three seconds so um, the three second silence is more like a defensive mechanic because you can slow down the enemy. Um, they cannot cast their skill as fast as they sh would like to. So you will, in, in a sense, you will take less damage. But against the three second silence, it does require the timing to be there for it to work. So let's say if the enemy casts their skill and then you cast your skill after, the three second silence might not work because now um the enemy already casted their skill okay so it does need you to 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 be able to cast your skill in the right time right so that you can prevent the enemy from casting the skill uh compared to if you compare to some other commander like nevsky uh with the troop defense debuff right so this one kind of like work right away because like the moment it debuff on you you will be able to take advantage it advantage a bit right away because you can deal more damage because the, the target is now getting debuffed with 15% 30% or 45% defense right so um so slide i would say in terms of like um debuff i think i would pick i would pick some debuff like uh, xy debuff slightly over grand debuff here right the three uh, three second silent uh, his second skill has to do with rallying so we don't catch him much when we're rating the open field category uh grand also coming with a 30 percent infantry attack bonus and uh some mind speed bonus here he also have a healing factor of 1000 once he done fighting uh kind of like pulling running away for about five six seconds so you get out of the battle status you gonna be able to heal yourself uh 1000 healing factor a 30 percent infantry attack bonus is pretty nice a uh, very very nice to have uh, work pretty well on the open field, uh, but nowadays if you go into like scene of conquest KVK, you kind of like, get a lot of like attack increase for infantry as well. So you might you might prefer to have uh, some kind of like more defense or more health health stat increase. To be honest, for your commander, uh, his four skill um, having fifty percent chance to deal uh, either one thousand or fourteen hundred damage. So. Uh, if you think about it, um, it's like anytime you cast your skill, you have fifty percent chance to to deal a thousand damage. So you can you can think of it like, on average, you will be able to deal five hundred damage every time you cast your skill, right? So like five hundred skill damage factor is really not a lot, um, nowadays, and especially if it is only like a single target as well it's not like a 500 aoe additional aoe skill damage like a 500 damage additional skill damage 
on a one of the skill and you need to max it out it is okay is it not amazing uh in my opinion uh many many other commanders they also have a similar skill uh, as well that uh, can deal more like skill damage for example if you're looking at um i don't have a i don't have a him unlock um where is uh freddy i think freddy is one of the, one of the commanders that he can deal more skill damage isn't he no not freddy uh some some of the commanders that can deal additional skill damage i think it's julius caesar uh julius caesar expertise he can deal 400 more damage right so very very similar to julius caesar uh expertise skill right so julius caesar do 400 more damage uh grand can deal 500 more uh, it's not that amazing if you think about it like, i would prefer some additional stat increase overall stat increase to be honest um so that is his four skill um his expertise uh whenever grand gain a shield he also increase his skill damage by 15 percent for three seconds so very very dependent right depend on your secondary commanders and a lot of times um depend on when you get a shield so like an expertise uh, skill that rely a lot on getting getting a shell right so it's very very conditional uh and it doesn't work all the time uh and i also want to talk about this skill as well so like in order for you to utilize on grand u4 skill you need uh you need him to cast his uh sin of war which is his active skill very very quickly very fast and one of the one of the command that can help him do that is leo but nowadays Leo is not very 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 useful nowadays because Leo's uh, stat is not that amazing, right? So you kind of be losing out on on that as aspect. You cannot you cannot have a commander to help him cast his sin of war very quickly, so that he can utilize on his uh, force skill here more, right? So with that being said, um, I would say in terms of open field right now, I would give him like a 8.5 or, or a 9 um he's definitely not as strong as nevsky or joan of arc prime right unfortunately but again i think grand been out for some time so it is expected um in like a 1v1 situation i think um he do decent right i think he, he definitely uh do pretty good decent but against um um he and a weak damage commanders um and his skill gets a lot of his skill doesn't re doesn't re work really well in like a one v one. So like in a one v one situation, even though he has like, he has that two thousand skill damage um, and si two seconds silent, but like I think some of the some of other his some of the other skill doesn't work very well, unless you can get a commander that can really really make him shine. But as of right now, in a one v one, I would give him like a seven point five uh, on it. Um, I would say 8 is being generous, so let's give him an 8 here. Cinnamon, Cinnamon Infantry player, I'll give him an 8 in a 1v1. Uh, CD Hopping, um, he can work. I think Gwen can work. Um, he has like a skill damage commander. So if he's primary, he, if you using, if you have him with it, a uh, feral nature, he has chance to gain very, very fast rage. Uh, he can cast his skill very quickly. Um, to In and out, in and out, cast the skill and jump in. But he doesn't work in a situation where there are like many many marches from the army outside your city and where to swarm you down. Uh, Zguan is not super tanky, right? a very very easy target to swarm down. Especially he doesn't have very very high counter attack damage. So um, I would say for C Hop, I would give him like a 6.5. Uh, he can work if you know how to, uh, if, if if you know how to use him, but he's not like an ideal ideal commander for. Uh, for CD Hop, Rally. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, his his active skill uh, work very very dependent on the timing of your skill. Um, he does have a second skill can work very well in a rally situation, um, but he's not like a very very strong single DPS like commander. Is not very good in like a one v one, and I mean like he could be used to rally. But he also a little squishy, very very easy to counter. Um, you can launch a counter rally on him, and and you will suffer a lot of like severe wounded unit. 
And he he also I would consider it's a pretty easy rally to swarm down as well. And as of right now, Ogwan is being overshadowed by Pukal and Hero because Pukal. I think most people when it comes to the infantry rally, they want a tanky rally, and that is when Pukal and Hero come in. Uh, Pukal is definitely definitely a lot more tankier than Gwan. And right now, I think Gwan is being overshadowed by Pukal and Hero, uh, but he could be used for rally. I mean, I'm not saying he is the worst, uh, but you could use him for rally uh, if you have no other option. But I would give him like a 7.5. Um, you could use Gwan rally in you know in Arc or Arc Vasiris as well. Uh, Garrison um, definitely is not ideal for garrisoning with with Gwan. Uh, I mean, like, I would give him like a 7. I mean, like, he okay for Garrison. He have very, very nice uh, skill damage. Right, the first skill and the fourth skill work in Garrison situation. Uh, the third skill can work in Garrison situation as well. Uh, I'm not sure about the, <laughs> the, the expertise. Uh, because you cannot gain a shield when you Garrison, unfortunately. I mean, like, you cannot gain a shield from other, com uh, other marches. But you can gain a shield from... Uh, it's your second commander if you have, or you can get a shield from a lucky coins if you want. But not ideal, right? not ideal for Garrison. Uh, in Ark in Ar 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 Osiris, I think he's still pretty good. Uh, very, very nice AoE skill damage. Uh, very, very fast commander, 15% mark speed bonus. Uh, decent, nice amount of skill damage, uh, but that is pretty much about it. Um, in Ark in Ar of Osiris, I would give him like an 8.5 right now. Okay, uh, point five in arc. Um, I mean, like if you if you bring a lot of Gwen, I um, mean, you, know, you can slide, you can silence a lot of target um, from the enemy, which is a good thing. But uh, against um, his skill kits, a little squishy for the middle five. Uh, he does. I think all he can bring is that just that AOE skill damage, three second silence. Um, Slightly better attack here for infantry. Um, it could be either 8.5 or 9, but I think he's he, he belong to that 8.5 category right now because I can see a lot more. I can see a lot like more commanders that kind of a, perform better than him right now in Ark of Cyrus. So I wouldn't give him a nice score. Okay, 8.5 is what I can give him. Uh, Sunset Cannon. I think Gwen is still pretty good. Um, Pretty good option. I think a lot of people are still using him in Sunset Cannon. Uh, Worked very, very well with um, a fine market setup in Sunset Cannon. And I think many, many people, people are still using him. And I think right now, I think Grand and Sapio is a very, very solid option. Uh, Grand Sapio or is still a very, uh, a very, very good option in, in Ark of Osiris. Uh, nice AoE skill damage. Nice amount of like, uh, debuff from both commanders. Uh, decent stats that you can bring in. Uh, so I would give him like a 8.5 as well in in Sunset Canon. So let's give him let let's do an overall score here for Gwen. Let's see how much he has. Uh, overall score is some 8.5. This one 54.5 is the score. So let's go back to the entire tier list here, okay guys. Let's go back to the tier list, okay. So we got our grand right now at 54.5, a slight lesser than uh oh let me bring a little closer here. So Gwen is at 54.5 in terms of overall score, slightly lesser than uh Joan of Arc Prime and a lot lesser, 10 point lesser than Nevsky, okay. Uh, open field 8.5 compared to Nevsky 9.5. 1v1 is 8. A uh, CD hop is 6.5. A uh, rally is 7.5. Garrison is 7. Um, or, or, or maybe even less than 7. But I think 7 is okay. Uh, Arc of Cyrus is 8.5. Uh, Sunset Cannon is 8.5. Maybe. Maybe Garrison a 6.5, not a 7. Maybe. I don't think it's a good idea to use him for, for Garrison. Um, so, uh, yeah, I think I think he's at 54. Yeah, if, we, if I compare the Garrison compared to, to, to John, 
I think 7 was a little too high. I think 6.5 would be a much, much better. Uh, sea of Hop. Yep, Sea of Hop is 6.5. It's good. Uh, Arc of Cyrus is 8.5. Sunset Cannon is 8.5. Yep. I think Zid is much, much better score for him. Um, yeah, guys. All right, so what? let me know what you guys think about the scores that I gave to him. And hopefully, I can finish the entire tier list very soon. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching the video, guys.